Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 40 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series, and today is a, a big day for the series because version 25C of Rotary Craft is out, and I have updated my monster installation with version 25 of everything. And I was actually quite uh, happy that the only issue I had was, was having to change the uh, item ID uh, for the Geostrata Ender Crystal uh, to 10,019. That was all I had to do. Uh, there were no other conflicts. It was awesome. So, here we are in version 25, and that means we can finally now talk about the block cannon, because the block cannon has been fixed. Um, apparently there was an issue where the torque requirements were much higher than they uh, were stated to have been or, or, or should have been, and it was preventing the the cannon from working properly, but now it works, and I've tried it, and it does work. So uh, we'll talk about the block cannon now. So the block cannon is crafted like this, with two circuit boards, three base panels, a chest, a compressor, and an HSLA steel ingot to give you the block cannon. And the block cannon is this right here. Now I, I do briefly want to mention one thing about the TNT cannon, because if you remember my TNT cannon video, uh, I didn't. I wasn't able to get this targeting aid to work, um, but then later mentioned that yes, it does work. Well, that was because if you uh, got, if you tried to right-click it and go into the GUI here, while it was in targeting mode, which you shift right-click of a screwdriver, it would crash the game. But as you can see now, that crash has been fixed. I am going to put a link to the patch notes for version 25 in the description, um, so you can go ahead and see all the, every, all the changes that were made to Rotarycraft. I will do a video later on. Um, maybe the next Rotorcraft video about the big changes to a lot of the machines but I'm never I'm, I'm not gonna make a video where I just sit down and read through the patch notes I mean you can just go there and read them yourself but the TNT cannon now does not crash when you uh, do that and I thought I would mention that briefly just because that was a thing see there targeting aid works just fine and it's, it's also a cannon, so I figured it was a, a bit topical. Alright, so the block cannon, let's get back to it. We'll just chuck that into the water. Didn't work. Anyway, this is what the block cannon looks like. It can take power from any side as well. You know, top and uh, Well, not top. You have to have a... You wouldn't want the top to be covered up. Um, so, the block cannon requires, at minimum, 65 kilowatts. Uh, well, 65 and a half kilowatts, which is the output of a gas engine. And it doesn't... It needs torque, quite a bit of torque, and it's uh, the speed isn't necessary. Don't worry about the speed. So uh, this is what I gave it. I uh, this is basically just taking a gas engine and putting enough gearboxes on it so that you uh, gear it all the way down to uh, one radian per second, so you have full torque. And so with uh, full torque, you can see here the power meter is just fine. And now we can finally fire some blocks. So if I go ahead and put like some sand in here, it fires the block, and hey, and it places the block in the world if it if it can. Um, I noticed that that uh, sometimes if it tries to land, if it like lands in, uh, somewhere, it doesn't. It like turns into an entity. But uh, I was firing them into the water earlier, and I'm not. I don't. I, I don't know if they were actually placing in the water. But you can turn this, uh, you know, this up now, and it does work. So you can fire things. You can fire cobblestone. Oh, yep. See, it, it uh, broke into an entity. But uh, if it does land uh, in a in a place where it can um, be placed, then it does in fact uh, place itself. So uh, this really could be a machine of annoyance for someone if you're in a PvP situation and they've got a base that they've walled off and. And maybe you don't want to destroy them yet, or maybe you don't have that technology, but you kind of want to make them mad or mess with them. Start chucking a bunch of sand and gravel and cobblestone and stuff into their uh, into their base, or cover their their land with uh, random blocks. That'd be pretty funny. Um, but that's not all it can do. Um, and obviously, it requires more power to fire. Um, well, it requires more torque to fire more heavier materials. But I am giving it quite a lot of torque, a lot of torque, so it can pretty much fire anything, I think, at this point. Block of gold, even. Although, not, nope, can't fire a block of gold. So we don't have enough torque to fire the block of gold. It's just too heavy, too much mass. I, I don't know... Oop, my phone's going to ring. I don't know how much um, 
Sorry about that. I can't control it. I don't know how much mass the block of gold has. I don't know how much mass anything has. I don't know what the lightest block in the game is. I thought maybe it would be sand. But, uh, or maybe leaves. I don't know. Can you fire leaves? Yep, you can fire leaves. So leaves are probably pretty light. But I don't really know. I, I don't have access to the table or anything. I don't know the mass values of these blocks. But, uh, yeah, just experiment with it. See how much, uh, you know, blocks you can fire. And you would never fire a block of gold anyway. Mostly, I think you'd be firing, uh... Uh, junk blocks just to annoy somebody <laughs> um, but you can also fire liquids so if I take a water bucket and if I place a water bucket in here it fires a water source block and wherever that water source block lands it goes ahead and uh, places and uh, you do lose the bucket and that's some unfortunate but you know what are you gonna do uh, that has a lot of applications. I mean, obviously, you could fire lava at somebody, and that is definitely going to screw with their day. <laughs> They're not going to like that. At all. Um, but, if you're in modded Minecraft, there are also some other things you can throw. For example, uh, basically, you can shoot, as far as I know, any liquid that can be placed in the world. So, this is a liquid poison bucket from the Biomes of Plenty mod, which, if you're familiar with these, uh, with this poison, will spawn in pools in uh, certain biomes from Biomes of Plenty. And if you can get your hands on a bucket of it, then uh, you could fire that at people as well and, and poison them and stuff. And so, that, that wouldn't be very good either. So, essentially, any fluid that you can put in a bucket that can uh, be placed in the world and we'll just try a couple milk works the molten metals from tinkers works so pretty cool oh wow <laughs> it like melted the water alright so uh, yeah pretty much any fluid um, there's a couple other fluids that you might be interested in shooting at somebody like uh, sewage bucket from mine factory loaded. Yep. So you can literally throw crap at someone. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's the block cannon, and it works now, and uh, it's pretty cool. I I like it. So you can obviously adjust the compass angle as well if you want to fire things in a different direction. I just fired it over here. You know, and, and it does follow uh, the compass directions, so if I, if I, and then I'll fire at 180, it'll fire that direction over there, and see, it can place the blocks at a pretty decent angle. Now, if I fire that again, chances are good that it will, and it fires at a good, at good pace, too, you see here? So sometimes the blocks will stack. And you'll notice the line getting closer and closer because it can't place the blocks, with, throw the blocks over there, and eventually, Oh, come on. Eventually it places the block directly on top of itself and then starts spitting out the entities. So yeah, that's the block cannon. Ah, oh, it's pretty cool. I like it. And as you saw, even by only giving it one radian per second, it actually fires at a pretty decent speed, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, yeah, I like this thing. It's cool. And it has a lot of uh, opportunity to really annoy people without actually causing damage. Um, which I think is pretty awesome, you know, and of course you can always throw lava at people, which would be pretty devastating in a PvP environment, especially if they're placing them out of wood, but, uh, so yeah, that's the block cannon, so now we have officially covered everything from the, uh, rotary, from the, um, Offense defense part of the handbook. Um, there, there is one thing I do want to mention, uh, just because we're in the offense defense part of the handbook, and I can quickly mention that now, is that the Sonic Cannon now has a sound effect. This needs six two uh, two six two one four four. Can you hear that? It's like a really low, pulsy thing. So yeah, um, video coming up very soon um, on the major changes to the machines that I've covered. Okay, So uh, if I haven't covered a machine or a device yet in this series, I'm not going to make a specific video talking about the changes to that machine um, because I'll just talk about it as it stands now in that episode. But I will make a video that goes through the, the changes to the... Uh, 
the machines that I have already covered because I feel like that'll be a very useful thing to do. Um, just, you know, so that anybody who sees the series and maybe is wondering why things aren't working the way that I say they are now is because a lot of them have been changed. Um, so that video is coming next. It won't, it'll be very quick and then, uh, and then we'll start talking about the mod interaction machines uh, because now that the changes have gone through uh, these these machines um, should be okay to talk about now. One of the big changes that uh, Reika made was that these things now require um, oh this is new block uh, now require lubricant so we'll talk about those in a future episode coming soon um, so yeah, and uh, Reactor Craft will come when Reactor Craft comes. There's no uh, set time for that. And uh, the next episode of that will be coming uh, pretty soon as well. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'm Silent LH, and I'm signing out.